Good morning, good morning. I, I say this a lot, but it's a beautiful morning. Not just because we're breathing and we're alive, but it's just beautiful. Sun and trees and flowers, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. Enjoy it today. Please enjoy it because it's so precious. Each day is precious. But good morning, Tracy, good morning. Hey, listen, I've got a message of inspiration for all of you. Here is the message, Judith and, and Barry, welcome. The reality of love is the greatest of all things. Hey, Christine. You know, you've heard about love, you've talked about love, and you've all failed in love. What? Jeff, how could you say that? Well, I could say that because we all have failed in love. You know, uh, you can love so far. You can love uh, over situations. You can love circumstances and situations uh, when it's in your favor or people are nice to you or kind to you. But how about when... Uh, things aren't so nice. How about when people are not so nice? How about when people devalue you or uh, treat you unkindly or take advantage of you? Can you love them then? Oh, sure you can. Oh, sure you can. Well, the truth of it is we can't. What the scripture says, it's impossible for us to love agape love. And it's a Greek word, and my friend Angelo would probably correct my pronunciation in Greek, but the truth of it is, is agape love is a deeper love, a more pure, absolute pure love that is God's love. It's grace-filled love, and it's impossible for the human being to produce the level of power of that kind of love. But what is impossible for man, Mark 10, 27 says, is possible with God within you. Because with God in you, love is in you, the agape love to be able to turn the other cheek, to be able to go the extra mile after force to go one mile, to be able to say, I forgive you and mean it as far as east is to west. The power of love, 1 Corinthians 13, 13 says, is the greatest above faith and hope, wishes, dreams, power, money, anything we could ever have. So what is all this about? I want you to tap into your greatest source. I want you and I to tap into the agape love that's within us that gives us the ability to love those that are unlovable, including yourself when you fall down for the thousandth time or the ten thousandth time. Agape love is there for you no matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you make a mistake, no matter how many times you want to do but you don't do what you should do, what you know you should do and could have done and didn't do, like Paul talks about. Well, the reality of agape love gives you and I the ability with the power within us to love ourselves beyond any fault, any shortcomings, any guilt or condemnation. And then we can love others as we have been loved. So I challenge you, as I do every day, but I really challenge you today, don't try to love out of your own efforts and your own strength and your own mental state. It'll fail. It will fail. I guarantee it. It's an absolute, like gravity. But when you tap into the source of love within you, which is God in you, through you, and you become one with that love, then the power and the ability to love becomes the agape love flowing through you. You become that God-like figure to all that are around you, all that love you, and all that are your enemies. It doesn't make any difference. You'll find the power to love beyond your abilities. So remember today, what's impossible for you is possible with God within you. What love you might muster up and have, and people might say you're just a loving person, is nowhere near the power. The, the dynamos is another Greek word, dynamos, which dynamite comes from, that'll move mountains, that'll create valleys, that will level ground in your life if you just tap into that agape love that's within you. So today, I challenge you, live love and laugh through this entire day and watch it be better than you could ever ask or imagine. Have a beautiful day. To all my wonderful, wonderful little notes that are down at the bottom from Tracy and all of you, thank you. The thumbs up. Share this. 
the world needs love. That's just not an old song. That's the reality of what this world, in all of its turmoil, its war, its finance, its troubles, its trials and tribulations, it needs more of agape love. And we'll see the world changed because of it. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.